cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it. Cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crash. Cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it. Cook it, cut it. Another location with these waffle style dunks. 125 in the retail. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Which Romero 5 do you guys like more? I think I'm leaning towards this olive one, even though red's one of my favorite colorways. I do like this olive one a little bit more. 140 on the Nike Job One check. A lot of people still have these available. Stadium green, still 99 bucks. I got mine on today, the Royal Blues, but these are pretty clean. A lot of people feel like this is the best LeBron 21 so far. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Fire ass colorway, 210 on the retail. Colorway on the 1906 R. These are pretty dope. I feel like this is a collab colorway. Seen these online. I like this color tone. Definitely fire. 155 on the retail. These ones are not too bad either, but I do like that other colorway. Saw this Legacy before. Didn't know it had the splattered midsole or, you know, back part of the shoe. Pretty clean. Today's latest release right here, man. Is this like a panda colorway? I don't know, but the materials on here is not bad. 179 on the retail. Let me know if you guys went after these. I mean, they're gonna be around a while, but the colorway is not bad, bro. Still got Craft 3s here. Good amount of sizes left. And some people might have been confused on this, but they do have the Spazikes in men's sizes, like I said, 160 on the retail for this blue colorway. Definitely one of the better colorways for sure. Form low Grinch colorway down to 59 bucks. I think this might be the cheapest we've seen it so far. Seeing them go lower and lower. They got some of these reverse leanings down to 99 bucks now. First time actually seeing this for sure. And yeah, this is still, I feel like this is, man. 80 bucks now for the uh, UNC, the Chicago Jordan 1 low for the women. 79 bucks on these, bro. That's actually a good price. They still have these for 99 bucks. This is just weird to see, man. Gray school down at 89 bucks for the Jordan 3 Sears. Gray school Black Sea Mints down at 89 bucks is also a steal. Might scoop this up for our channel member today. Let's go ahead and see what's up with the guy size 7. While they check for that 7, just look at the other rest of the shoes that's here available. Of course, Gray school always got heat around. What do you guys think about this Legacy 312? Combination of two different colorways. 145 on the retail. Definitely a solid colorway on this Stadium 90. The olive green is pretty on point. Stadium 90 is down to 119. Normally 135, I think, on these. We do have a full raffle going on for the Jordan 4 Military Blues. If you purchase something from my website, you can enter that way and get a raffle ticket. Each raffle ticket goes in increments of $10 on the website. So if you buy something that's $20, that's two tickets. If you buy something that's $50, that's five tickets. Or you can just join straight up with a $20 raffle entry via PayPal or Instagram. PayPal or Cash App, excuse me. So if you want to join the raffle, go ahead and check out Bosco'sGoodies.com. And I've talked about these mints before because the materials on them is definitely on point. Look at that leather right there. $135 on the retail. Of course, they raised the price because they gave them better quality. Dope selection here at Shoe Palace in Northridge that I always show you guys. A lot of the latest releases here, including the uh, pandas. You stop slipping, man, and drop these things down to 39 bucks already. What's up with that? 180 on these, still full retail. They need to drop the price on them for sure. I don't know why they would still have them at full retail. Palace starting to roll out with these, which is always a good thing. Pretty dope on these Queens couch. Of course, LeBron 21, algae, definitely a fire colorway too. And these are still sitting around at full retail. I hope they drop these down at some point too. Even though the people didn't scoop these up right away, I'm not seeing them at too many locations. They got a size eight in hand here too. Don't know what size left they have in these. Yeah, the Curry Splash. First time seeing this Curry Splash in this, in this colorway. He wore these during All-Star Weekend. I think during a three-point shootout, I'm not sure. But this is definitely a dope colorway on this shoe. A few different Curry 11s. This is also a new shoe coming back again. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this one. This colorway is pretty de decent, of course. Uh, Golden State Warrior vibes. Okay, didn't know that I would get a chance to see this in person. I didn't know which stores would actually have this in hand. I like this one right here, bro. This is actually a pretty clean colorway. Got the flame going up on the side panel because you know that boy Curry's on fire. Nike GT Hustle 3, three different colorways. So all the locations pretty much have the uh, Jaw 1 Murray State colorway. This is actually not bad. Some lace swapping would actually make this shoe pop a lot if you could find that yellow to match or maybe even the white. Kobe Iverson's at this location, also 79 bucks. Golden Child, and we got the NBO 3s, a couple of them, man. These are all like newer colorways too, especially this Chinese New Year. Already down to 99 bucks. I thought that would drop down a little sooner. Uh, but this is still probably one of the more flashy ones out the MBO3, you know, Porsche collab. 
But uh, let me know if you guys are liking either one more. We talked about this in the last video. I think I'm leaning towards the Dexter's Laboratory more still, but I do like the materials and the colorway on this uh, Bruce Lee, AKA Porsche colorway. As you walk in, they got them on deck here too. Definitely a clean shoe. Color block is not bad. Leather is not too bad either. Let me know what you guys think about them. As you guys can see, got them in full family sizing. So more and more colorways of this Air Max Plus Drift is popping up, man. Let me know if you guys are excited for this shoe. Colorway is not bad. Definitely a heavy shoe. Retail is 185. Still think this is a solid colorway as well. Can't go wrong with these Air Max Plus Drifts. Just, just let you know they do have some weight to them. And one of the better colorways of the Vapor Max 23 down to 160. Got that dark green with the suede, long hair suede, and new buck on here, 90 bucks. This color combination is not too bad either. Still $90 on the retail. These haven't been out too long, but they're already on sale. $120 on the retail. Different colorway on this uh, Air Force One. I almost forgot the name of it. Canvas, new buck on here. Got some short hair suede on the back panel. $135 on the retail. Decent colorway. Look at this right here. KD16 Slim Reaper, man. These don't come out for a little while, technically, but I guess they got them here early. Can never go wrong with that. What do you guys think about this colorway? And how does it match up compared to the KD16 All-Star? We picked up the KD16 Slim Reapers. Got a chance to get our hands on these early. We definitely will get a full review on on feet, but this colorway is dope. The red, black, and white combination is not bad. You have the uh, shiny silver on the TPU on the lateral side. The medial side pretty much has a black cage, of course, given that design from the Air Max Penny 2. You have the 3M strip all around the upper. I like this red and black mesh here, and then I really like the splatter or blood splatters. That's what this is supposed to mimic on the side panels here. The translucent outsole, very dope. You can see the technology under there. Got the orange, pretty clean shoe right here. 160 bucks on the retail for this sneaker. Slim Reaper right there on the back heel. You got Slim Reaper right there on the uh, insole. They officially drop, I think, March 1st. You can uh, go true to size if you like a snug fit, but it's a little bit more recommended that you go a half size up. This location also has these down to 155. They got the Jordan 1 Miles here also for 120, still full size run, which means these guys did not sell like that at all, really. 120, bro. A lot of those shoes right here marked down. Of course, these LeBrons got them down here for 140. Jordan 11 low IEs down to 150. KD still 120. We need to find those a little cheaper. And then uh, the Jaw 1's down to 95 bucks. Reduced section got the Jordan 2 lows down to 130 already, man. These just came out like a week ago. Already down on sale. I posted these on Instagram and there was some pretty good responses to them. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. On the women's side for the Nike Cortez. So this JD Sports got the Gore-Tex is already down to 135 from 160. Full size run available. Probably the second location to have this P6000 in its tan colorway, tan white with a hint of like what gray. And I'm definitely a fan of this university blue one with the silver, but I definitely like the racer blue a little bit more. Full size run available. I like the materials and the colorways, not bad. Aren't these like the Draculas? 150 on the retail. Black A6 down to, or it's still 134 retail for these. These aren't too bad either, like that forest green with the gray. 130 on the retail, good materials. No new colorways over here when it comes to new balances. I think we've seen all these before. Adidas Drop Step, one or $90 on the retail. East Clinic Collab down at 55 bucks from 110 is actually a great price point for these. Some of the same things that we've seen, but they do look pretty good in case you're still looking for shoes. And these mids are also pretty solid as well. It's like a million and one colorways of these dunk lows for real, bro. The gray is going to sell for 130. And they also have the Fear 3s for 120. Normally 145 down to 75 on the tech fleece right here for the uh, for the orange colorway. This one's 110 and this green one is 110 as well. I mean, section's pretty much the same things we've seen at all the JD Sports, metallic Jordan 1s, everything else here is the same. Okay. Sabrina's going down even cheaper. We got them here for 80 bucks. You can go, not go wrong with that, bro. That's pretty clean. $80 on the Sabrina 1 right now. I got the Romero's with the metallic on them. Now you guys can find them a little bit more in store. They were kind of scarce at one point, but uh, not no more. 140 on these LeBrons as well. Definitely late to the party as far as seeing these. These are the Zoom Freak 5 All-Star, the Grade School Edition. Not a bad colorway. You got the Jaw ones behind it for Grade School only. 
Got that prism-like feel. If these came out of men's sizes, I'm sure people would have scooped them up. A very solid colorway for the MB03. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. Only seen these at one other location, man. Not too many spots have these out yet. So we got a lot going on in this store here, but I wanted to talk about these two shoes. The Puma Scoot 1. Now this is the first colorway that we talked about. I got a full detail review on this shoe. Definitely recommend it for outdoor use. Got the Cheetos collab, which is also pretty fire, and it does come with like a detailed box and special packaging. Of these two uh, Puma Scoot ones, which one do you guys like the most? They got the shoe that you must have right here in the front at the uh, Foot Locker 3D Jaw Ones or 3D Zion 3s. What am I saying, bro? 9060 here with the drawstring as opposed to laces. I kind of like that. AE Ones, definitely solid. Let me know what you guys think about the basketball shoes, man. Is Adidas leading it right now or still Nike basketball on top? They still got some sizes of the classic Barclays and the next gen LeBron. Not quite sure if we've seen this before. Men's size is down at 80 bucks, which is actually a good markdown. Don't know if we've seen this before. Normally 160 down to 80 bucks. And we got the Shaq's creeping down too now, 79 bucks. Definitely a classic colorway, $79. Pretty dope markdown for the Reeboks. Let's go ahead and check out Nike at Glendale. Stop by Nike to see what they had on deck. Nothing that we really haven't seen before. I actually try to get a different size than the shoe that I already have, but they don't have it here. So let's go ahead and see what's on the wall. Is this a newer colorway? I feel like it could be. Got the maroon and white color block. Not bad, 115 on retail. That's for the returns. I mean, they do got these on deck. Jordan 8's the playoffs, definitely a clean one. Metallic Jordan 1's. Nothing that we really haven't seen already here. I think these might have been here last time we came to check them out. Kind of like a Michigan style colorway with the navy blue and gold. Then also uh, these SB's, some maroon SB's. Are these like Freddy Cougars or something like that? Size six and a half on them, not too bad. These give me a Valentine's Day vibe as well. Not mad at these dunks. This colorway is pretty decent too. Pretty solid selection of like last chance or returns here at Nike Glendale, P6000s of course. As far as over here, nothing that we really haven't seen in store just yet. Still have some sizes left for this Jordan 11. Starting to see them creep out the stores, but this location does have a few sizes left. One of the newer colorways for the women, Dunk Lows, 130 on the reach out for these. And they still have Valentine's Day dunks available here. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or what an easy pass. Open up the door and look what we have here. Gotta open this box up from Poison real quick. I like the color of the box.